This is QIQ, the question in question. Brought to you by Therapy Bites Art Lab. Here to take a bite out of modern day pseudo psychological psycho malarkey. Now entering the Art Lab studio. Today's T Ballers, a collection of fellow strugglers confronting personal challenges, navigating precarious relationships, and tackling trauma. Humans like each of us, juggling difficult human emotions, each here with unique life experiences, lived stories, and questions we'll bite into that just might help you too. And now, entering the Art Lab studio for the 9,880th time is the host of Therapy Bites QIQ, Doc Heath. Take my mute button off there. Hey, thank you guys for joining us. If you wonder where the... Uh, what does that say? It's been a long time since we recorded that. 988th time. Uh, I, I just kind of added up how many days I think I've had doing this job of psychotherapy. And, and that's what I came up with. It's, it's an estimate. I wouldn't uh, testify to its accuracy, but it's, it's a lot of days. It's a lot of days. I walked into the office and, uh, uh, well, you know, we, we, we do our best to help folks uh, identify uh, their own distorted thinking which we know creates uh, problems in life and creates emotions that are more difficult than what they need to be. And uh, that's where that, somebody asked me that. Somebody asked where, where that came from. That's where that came from. Hey, I'm drinking some coffee this evening because I uh, had a, a lot of work to do, had a long night, worked on reports to really late last night. And uh, some of you asked, why did we do QIQ on Tuesday? And the reason is, I had to move a recliner. <laughs> uh, school, med school is starting back, and um, my son needed me to help him carry a recliner, so I did the dad thing and helped him carry the recliner. So let that be a lesson to you T-ballers out there. Family always comes first. Um, not social media. Uh, social media, don't let that trump your health. Don't let that trump your family. Family first, family always first. Uh, let's go to the board, and you guys know how the game is played. Uh, we have all these really cool categories here. Uh, couch comes quotes, couch comes questions, where folks send in questions for us to answer. And, of course, we're just going to give you the answer. You have to come up with the uh, question creature feature, which are cool concepts to explain some difficult psychological concepts. Social media smackdown. Yes, I get in a few debates on social media. You know, some folks take offense to that. No offense is intended, but I like to share out accurate, realistic thoughts, accurate, realistic information. Uh, fresh from the therapy couch, that's some real-life stories that folks have given us permission to share in hopes that that would help other people. Uh, couch Crumbs is our newsletter, and Nero also are our psych secrets. We have a drop in our podcast episode. Podcast episode. Catch our latest one. Barry Nicolau. Uh, all the way from some foreign country named, well, foreign planet named Australia. Uh, that's an inside joke for those of our listeners to the episode. Uh, but uh, let's go out here and pick an item from the board. Thank you folks for joining from the different platforms, uh, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, and of course YouTube. And there's this new thing, you can subscribe. And if you subscribe, you will get a notice when we go live. And uh, we're just glad that you're here this evening. Uh, the first uh, item comes from, for 600 Psycoins, what is a Psycoin and what can you do with it? Well, you can save it up. You can tell friends and family you have them. Uh, and then you can spend them uh, and get some cool stuff from uh, the Therapy Bite store. We don't make any money off of that. But... We uh, do like to share out interesting s concepts in an interesting way. And let's go to the timer. Uh, I've already put the uh, question in the chat there. And for 600 Psycoins, uh, this quote is from one of my favorite presidents, uh, Franklin D. Roosevelt, as some people say. Uh, I always grew up calling him Roosevelt. But uh, the 32nd president of the United States, hey, look, uh, if somebody stops you on the street and says, hey, who was the 32nd president of the United States? You can say, hey, I know this one. I watched QIQ. 
Doc, he said it was Franklin D. Roosevelt. Uh, uh, this illustrates a common misunderstanding of emotion. And as we often say, people so focus in on emotion because it's just the first thing we notice. But emotion is always preceded by thinking. We first have thoughts and our thoughts uh, create the emotion. Now, you can think of like a house fire. Um, the smoke would be the emotion and the fire would be the thoughts that create the emotion. And so we don't have any proper responses just yet. Uh, and again, thank you guys for being here. And the question is, what is the only thing we have to fear? Or I'm sorry, what is, quotes, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. I wonder if I can do it like Franklin D. did it. The only thing to fear is fear itself. I can almost see the old newsreel now. Uh, let's go back to the board and grab another item. And this is going to come from Creature Feature. And I'll pop that up there on the board for you guys, gals. And uh, here we go. You know, one of these days I'll figure out a way to automate that, but I, but I haven't yet. I literally had to pick it up and uh, move it over. It is in the chat. If you'll take a look, we'll take a break, and we'll be right back. If you are a fellow human struggling with difficult emotions, a fracturing relationship, parenting problem, mental health difficulty, have a psychotherapy from hell story to tell, or a challenging life experience question, and would like to share your story by stepping up to bat as a T-baller, either register by texting QIQ to one 686 4196 and join our Therapy Bites community or send a postcard with your name, address, phone number, email address, and age to the address on the screen. Therapy Bites, QIQ, PO Box 1391, Jonesboro, Arkansas, 72403, 1391. And uh, yeah, we, we checked that P.O. box. So we'd love to get your postcards. If you have a question you'd like for us to answer on the air, uh, be sure and do that. We would love to answer those. I'm going to pull this item over to the screen. And, oh, can you see it all? Did I make it? Uh, for 200 side coins, the answer is this little critter is at work sabotaging your thinking when you tell someone, I knew that was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. Well, what is the question and we're out of time we don't oh wow we do have a response hey i'm sorry william there you go oh wait a minute that's not the catastrophizing ant it's actually oh i'm sorry uh that is such a good guess the catastrophizing ant he is my favorite my dad would call that a five dollar word Cata catastrophization six dollar word six dollar word one dollar for every <laughs> every syllable it's actually the fortune telling that if you knew that was going to happen then you think that you can see your fortune in the future okay uh your fortune in the future hey by the way i've got my alma maters t-shirt on great college top college uh top one of the most a little i got my tongue wrapped in my eye teeth can't see what i'm saying uh, my dad said that too uh one of the top Liberal Arts Colleges uh, in the U.S., uh, Lyon College, Batesville, Arkansas. Spent six years of my life there. Gosh, why'd you have to go six years? I guess I'm a slow learner. There's a story behind it that I won't get into tonight. Um, but what is the fortune-telling gnat? Let me go back to the board. And, oh, by the way, a, a little bit of fortune-telling was uh, you've heard of Drop the Mic Night. Well, actually, this is a different mic. This mic, look at that. I dropped the mic out there <laughs> beside the pool doing drops for social media. And I, you know, kind of tapped myself on the head and said, silly, silly, don't do that again. By the way, folks, you should call yourself names. If you're going to call yourself a name, pick a nice one. Don't call yourself stupid. Don't call yourself ignorant. You'll come to believe it. Call yourself, well, you don't have to call yourself anything but your real name. Uh, but don't call yourself nasty, demeaning names. There's plenty of people out there in the world of low character that will gladly do that for you. Don't participate in it. Back to my story. I had this on a little 
cell phone stand, which is a terrible idea, but I usually am very, very careful. But I dropped it and I told myself, don't do that again. And guess what I did? I did it again. And believe it or not, these do not bounce like rubber balls. <laughs> you, you think that with all that education, I would know that. And so I had to get a new one because this one was all crackly. And some folks were kind enough to complain about it. Yes, I do listen to your complaints. And if you're not a troll, I'm glad to listen. And I got a new mic just just for you guys, just so that you can hear the, the, the podcast QIQ and the other ones a lot better. Uh, okay, let's uh, go back to the board and pick out our next item there, more information about mics. But what was I doing? I was fortune telling saying, oh, I'm going to keep on doing that. And that is uh, fortune telling. Uh, the next item comes from Social Media Smackdown. And here is the answer, and you'll see this all over social media as well as a lot of other nonsense. And I will put it in the chat there, and then we'll drag it to the board to give everybody a fair chance of answering this with the proper response, which must be in the form of a question. Uh, uh, The answer is this false claim has been widely debunked with research showing that we use virtually all parts of our brain throughout the day. That's the answer. Uh, The question in question is what's the question. While you're thinking about it, I'll finish my mic story. So I ordered a new one. Uh, I keep this as a trophy reminder, uh, a don't do this again trophy reminder. And uh, who knows, I'll probably do it again. Oh, wait, what's that? That's fortune telling don't do that that's fortune telling and we don't have anybody come up with the right uh, response just yet but again uh you see in social media a lot of psycho malarkey as i call it and this false claim has been widely debunked with research showing that we use virtually all parts of our brain throughout the day and the question is oh timer's up what is the myth that we only use 10 percent of our brains you hear a lot of people say that the brain uses all of itself uh, we really don't have room to spare. Uh, your brain's like Walmart, or maybe now it's uh, SpaceX and uh, Tesla. It just gobbles up real estate. And your brain is going to use all the real estate available to it. And uh, let's go back to the board. I will we'll pick another category here, and this is going to come from Fresh from the Therapy Couch. I'll post it right in the comments in the chat there to give you time to ponder it. And we'll be back uh, after this next, uh, what do you call it? We call it a drop. If you plan on being in the local area of your podcast player app and would like complimentary tickets to the Therapy Bites QIQ Art Lab studio audience, please search Therapy Bites on your device and just smash that subscribe button. Your complimentary ticket grants you access to alerts so you'll never miss a show. And that's the T-Ball Triple of the Day, and uh, I'll pull it over here. You guys had some time to look at it, but I'll read it for you. For 600 Psy Coins, since it's the T-Ball Triple, it is for 1,800 Psy Coins. And this novel tells the story of a man who fakes insanity to get out of pri- out of prison sentence, but then he ends up in a, uh, a mental institution. There, it's actually, I don't know if it's based on that story, but there's actually a real story uh, where... Uh, participants faked having a mental illness and all the clinicians were fooled they they locked them up you know tells you you know sometimes clinicians uh, they really don't do a good assessment and sometimes they do an assessment which winds up being a false positive and they give you a diagnosis that is inaccurate imagine that but it happens more than you might think uh, we don't have your proper answers for that that is the the proper response is what is one flew over the cuckoo's nest? That was the Joker, I believe, Jack Nicholson, being the Joker before he was the Joker. And if you're looking for a great social media channel, uh, take a look at Jack Nicholson's channel, uh, Sunglass Jack. It's hilarious. Uh, I love it. Let's go back to the board and pick out our next item here. And it is going to come from, oh, yeah, the Couch Crumbs uh, newsletter. And I will grab this item here. Um, where's my uh, Where's my response? Oh, we have a, a 
technical. Oh, here it is. I, I start to say we <laughs> we have more technical difficulties. You know that that's become code for what the po- folks in the military call uh, foobar. I won't I won't say on there what that stands for. You can Google it. Um, but uh, I'll put that there. We'll go to the board uh, right after this. Premier accommodations for our T-Ball contributors provided electronically by the luxurious Art Lab Studio. Overlooking the steaming cesspool of pseudo-psychological social media psychomalarkey and located in cyberspace on your favorite podcast hosting platform where we invite you to the most psychomologically thrilling podcast in town while you feast on our award-winning psychologically nutritious buffet of Therapy Bites cuisine conscientiously cooked up by your hard-working T-Ball team chefs. And we do appreciate everybody being here. Uh, let me pull that up on the board. And uh, the uh, answer is catastrophizing ants. Catastrophizing ants. We're looking for... <laughs> what are you thinking? That That's a really, really good guess. That's a really, really good guess. We're looking for a bit more of a description there. And the question is, what is the... This is from Cash Crumbs Newsletter, by the way. Uh, if you're not subscribed, all you got to do is... Uh, uh, send your email, just send your email address to 1-870-686-4196. That's 1-870-686-4196 for a charge. All you got to do is do that. We'd be uh, glad to have you aboard. And um, the uh, question is, what is the critter in the newsletter that is named after a cognitive distortion that wants you to believe that every difficult situation is a catastrophe, it's overwhelming, it's unbearable. Uh, every difficult situation is catastrophe. Uh, I lost my car keys, catastrophe. Uh, a tree fell on my house, well, I, that's kind of a catastrophe, but it's a lot worse than your car keys, so why would you put them on the same level? You know, there should be some differentiation here. Uh, we, got, we have time, we got time. Uh, my high school English teacher would be all over me for that. I'm Southern, but I can still have good speech, can't I? I'll do my best. You guys forgive me. Uh, We'll go back to the board, and this item comes from uh, Psych Secrets, or as we call it for short, Nero. I'll put that up on the board, and this will be our final item for the evening. Thank you guys for sticking with us. Uh, Sorry we couldn't do it Tuesday, but as I said, I had a recliner to move, and I really love doing things with my son, and family should always, 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 always come first uh let's go back to the board i will pull that up here and i'll read it and it's for six oh 800 my bad 800 uh this process strengthens the connections between brain cells between neurons and it and it, it's a, a key mechanism in how we learn and how we form memories and sometimes especially with trauma it works so well that that trauma the memory of the trauma gets very, very deeply encoded. And this is the term for, uh, for that process. Uh, it's one that you want to have, uh, but it's one that uh, works really, really well until it does not. And in one area where we wish it worked less well, and, and there's actually techniques uh, that can make it work less well. Uh, there's actually medications. I'm not big on medications or stuff like that. Uh, what is practice? That's a good guess. Um, and it kind of relates in there. You know, your brain practices things behind the curtains of consciousness, even though when you don't know it's doing it. Uh, but I'm going to put up on the screen so you can see it, uh, because with my Southern accent, I don't want you guys to get it wrong based on my pronunciation. And it's actually called what is uh, long-term potentiation. Long-term potentiation. It's what more deeply encodes information into the brain thank you guys for joining us we look forward uh come back on uh saturday morning at 9 a.m for executive espresso uh it's where we have caffeinated conversations don't you love all the puns uh with me and some special guests about uh, how to achieve success in business relationships and life until then go out and do something healthy if it's not raining i'm gonna do my five mile bike ride you guys don't gotta ride five miles but do something healthy we'll catch you next time 
next time on Therapy Bites Art Lab QIQ, Doc Keith and T-Ball Collars face off against steaming piles of pseudo-psychological psychomalarkey directly from your favorite social media platforms or perhaps from the psychotherapy couch of a pill-pushing, emotion-demonizing, bobble-headed, woo-woo clinician who fed their kooky Kool-Aid to you. This is Art Pato speaking. Therapy Bites QIQ is a Dr. I'm a Floyd Knot production. Distributed by the Therapy Bites Art Lab Podcast. <laughs>